One of the questions I received about divorce is what are the requirements or the procedure for marrying a divorce, a divorced woman? Uh, there is a common, uh, basically, uh, requirement between a divorced woman and uh, a woman who never been married. Uh, like she exactly the same, you still have to provide the mahar, has to be witnesses, it has to have wali for her, and that's something a lot of people don't know. They say, oh, divorced woman, they don't need wali. That's not true. Actually, uh, those who allowed women to marry without wali, only uh, the Hanafi, uh, and they allowed this for a wise woman, even if she is not uh, married before, but she's a wise woman, they said she can be the wali of herself. But even though this is an opinion exists among the fuqaha, but I don't believe in it, I, I believe that the strongest opinion is the opinion of the majority of the Muslim scholars who said that wali is required, and this is the position of uh, uh, as far as I know, the Sahaba of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa and uh, uh, there is so many evidence to support that uh, position. And the famous hadith, biwali, no marriage without wali. And Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, what differentiate marriage from uh, uh, zina is basically uh, one of the thing is the existence of the wali. The wali meant to support the woman, uh, not to control the woman. So we keep that in mind. Uh, so also one of the conditions that it is very important to pay attention to for divorced woman, that divorced woman, uh, if her, we must wait until her idda finish, her waiting period after the divorce finished. Uh, you cannot approach a woman and ask her for divorce if she's still in the waiting period. You cannot marry a woman while she's still in her waiting period. And it doesn't matter if this is a, a, a revocable a, a divorce or revocable, irrevocable or revocable divorce. A irrevocable divorce, which is you cannot take her back, which has happened if you divorce your wife for a third time or the judge separate between uh, both of them or a khul was made. Uh, revocable when you, when you basically divorce your wife first time uh, or second time, because you can take her back during that waiting period. During the waiting period, is not allowed. You're not allowed to marry a divorced woman at all. If this is irrevocable, uh, some fuqaha said you can give a hint to her, like a woman who's widow. You can give a hint during her waiting period that you interested, or maybe somebody interested in marrying her, but explicitly you cannot approach her at all. And just let you know, some ulama even believe if you marry a woman during her waiting period, you're not allowed to marry this woman for the rest of your life. And this has been attributed to Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anh. Even though I don't believe this is a very authentic, a strong opinion, the majority said, no, you're allowed. But there, it's a sin and a great sin. Uh, and there is even uh, consequences for that. The woman has to wait for two waiting periods now uh, before she married this man. Uh, anyway, so these are, this is the procedure for marrying uh, a, a divorced woman. Then I have an advice for you uh, if you're going to marry a divorced woman. Make sure that you stop comparing. Don't let, you know what, even if you had a bad experience in the past, it doesn't mean this man or this woman will uh, bring you the same experience. Don't compare, don't be sensitive, don't prejudge the person, don't keep all saying, oh, this is, looks like the same thing. No, don't ever do that. Unfortunately, the rate uh, is way, way higher in divorce when it comes to someone who is married for the third time or the second time, way more than the one who married for the first time. So be careful. Don't ever get into the marriage and your background said, you know what, I was divorced before, so I can do it again. So you always have that door kind of open for you, exit door, you always think about it, you know, and easily you can go through it. Uh, don't do that. If you go on for marriage, make sure that you are committed. Make sure that you don't look for just someone that you can live with, for someone that you cannot live without. Uh, uh, if you go on to divorce, marry a divorced person, make sure that you have a little bit of background about what is the story behind their divorce. Is it a scary divorce uh, story, something you should be concerned of? You know, it, it is something that is wise to do. If you just get divorced and you just finish your idda, please don't rush into a new marriage. Take your time. Make yourself, take your, give yourself a time to heal a man or a woman. You know, rebound can be very dangerous. 
because usually when we get divorced, we have very low self-esteem and usually we start looking for people we will not consider in regular time or in other time. Uh, so that's why it's very important for you to give yourself a time to heal and to stand up in your feet again. And inshallah, uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you all tawfiq and give all of us happiness. We discuss uh, these issues and, and more others in my class, uh, Fiqh of Love. Uh, if it comes to your locality, make sure that you join us, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.